everyone, my name's Christine and I'm one of the founders and admins from PSSM and MFM Awareness. And today we're going to be talking all about the P8 variant of PSSM2. We're going to be explaining what the P8 variant is, what the P8 variant affects, what the function of the gene associated with the P8 variant is, and explaining how positive P8 result is interpreted. Let's begin. What is P8? P8 is a variant of MFM also known as myofibrillar myopathy. What is myofibrillar myopathy? Myofibrillar myopathy, or MFM, is a degenerative hereditary muscle disease caused by a mutation in muscle proteins. Myofibrillar myopathy affects skeletal muscle, and in some cases, cardiac muscle. It causes muscle weakness, loss of muscle mass, and in cases where cardiac muscle is also affected, respiratory problems. Although there is no current evidence to show PSSM2 causes respiratory problems in horses, there are a number of PSSM2 horses with respiratory issues. What does the P8 variant affect? The P8 variant affects something called pyridine nucleotide disulfide oxidoreductase domain 1. What is pyridine nucleotide disulfide oxidoreductase domain 1? Pyridine nucleotide disulfide oxidoreductase domain 1 is a flavoprotein that's encoded as a pyrox D1 gene. What is the function of pyridine nucleotide disulfide oxidoreductase domain 1? Pyridine nucleotide disulfide oxidoreductase domain 1 plays a vital role in DNA repair, photosynthesis in plants, and removal of radicals. Radicals are oxygen-containing molecules with an uneven number of electrons. This imbalance in electrons allows radicals to easily react with other molecules, causing large-chain chemical reactions called oxidative stress, which causes toxic effects in the body through the production of peroxide and further free radicals. What happens when there is a gene mutation in pyridine nucleotide disulfide oxidoreductase domain 1? When a genetic mutation occurs in pyridine nucleotide disulfide oxidoreductase domain 1, the mutated pyrox D1 will fail in its function to maintain the correct redox state as cysteine files in a large number of target proteins. The normal redox state in cells is the state at which atoms are changed within the body. The change to this normal redox state causes protein misfolding and clumps, also known as aggregates. Because pyridine nucleotide disulfide oxidoreductase domain 1 also plays a role in cysteine oxidative defence, this means a horse's ability to remove free radicals from the body related to cysteine will be compromised. If a horse has more free radicals in the body than can be kept in balance by antioxidants, then damage can occur to fatty tissue, DNA and proteins in the body. How does having a mutation in pyridine nucleotide disulfide oxidoreductase domain 1 cause a horse to be symptomatic? Let's look at this in an easy way. Having mutations in pyridine nucleotide disulfide oxidoreductase domain 1 is like building a house with no cement. You can still build it, but at some point in time the house will crumple and fall to the ground. This is what happens in PSSM2 horses. The mutation in that one gene affects the rest of the muscle structure. It might work for a little while, but it is weakened. And as PSSM2 is degenerative, as time goes on, more clumps occur and the muscle structure will become weaker and weaker, leading the horse to eventually become symptomatic. Why are horses affected by PA at different ages? Because every horse's body is different. Some horses are stronger, some horses are weaker. Some horses are immature, while others are more mature. Some horses are able to withstand pain and even grow accustomed to it. And some horses simply can't take the slightest ounce of pain and will let you know when something is wrong. Every single horse is an individual and different, just like us. How do I find out if my horse has P8? By doing the PSSM2 hair strand test that covers the P8 variant. The PSSM2 hair strand test costs around £250 and is available through Equisec for USA owners and Generatio CAG for the UK, Europe and the rest of the world. How do I interpret the P8 result? If your horse comes back P8, P8, 
This means the horse is affected with PSSM2 and they are homozygous for the mutation in the P8 gene. Horses who are homozygous for P8 are usually much more severely affected. If a homozygous horse is bred from, they will 100% pass on the gene. If your horse comes back NP8, this means the horse is affected with PSSM2 and they are heterozygous for the mutation in the P8 gene. If a heterozygous horse is bred from, they have a 50% chance of passing on the gene. If your horse comes back NN, this means the horse is not affected with PSSM2 associated with the mutations in pyridine nucleotide disulfide oxidoductase domain 1, P8. If a non-affected P8 horse is bred from, they will not pass on the P8 gene. And that concludes our video on the P8 variant explained. We hope you found this video helpful and that you now have more of an understanding on what the P8 variant of PSSM2 is. Our next video will cover the K1 variant of PSSM2 to help you understand PSSM2 even further. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, join our Facebook group, follow us on Instagram and check out our website for all things PSSM, MFM and RUR. Thank you for watching.